Hey guys, how are you going? And welcome to Crazy Cracker Plans. You're here for another haul video, and this is really exciting. Never ordered from her before, but this is a Leanne Baker daily order. So if you're interested to see what are in these lovely, cute as boxes, then definitely stay tuned. <music> So it's that time of year, planners are marked down um, and there are seconds planners and ones that aren't perfect that generally get marked down as well um, and because they're going out of date. So I'm definitely trying some new planners and giving some different things a try um, to see what might work or might not. And I really wanted to give Leanne Baker Daily a go because she is an Australian company she's an Australian um, small business and I love supporting small business where I can I'm still gonna love happy planner don't get me wrong probably never gonna stop loving happy planner because that is a disc system and it just works for me I think it's awesome but I wanted to check out Leanne Baker and see she wrote this lovely little note on the back too I think it's adorable because she had some not only were they seconds planners um, she then marked them down as well because they're also almost out of date planners. Um, so I grabbed a couple so that I could see what they were like to plan in and oh, work with. So I think I got a, um, a weekly, a daily, weekly, a daily and a teacher planner, I think. So let me just check. Let me just check. So this one's the weekly one. So this is one of her types of covers. I love how she's reinforced the corners. I think, let me just move these out of the way. Oh. And sorry about the shining of the surface too. So this is her planner. Open it up, you've got your little hello page. And if you haven't read this spiel, it is such a sweet little read. Take a screenshot if you <laughs> can't um, and, that, and then you can have a bit of a read of it and see because it's so sweet. And then zone cleaning if you do that but you could easily just change the top and use it for whatever you wanted to. And some Australian public holidays because she's an Australian um, one so all of this is related to Oz. Um, then we've got goals for January so there's all different goals that you might have for the month. And then this is your monthly. It's got a habit tracker down the bottom there. Some different things to put some notes on. And then your monthly. And then you've got your weekly plan. And there's obviously, well, there's three of them, I think. No, four of them. No, five of them. Um, so there's a weekly plan for every week. You can plan out your week beforehand any notes and ideas you might have. And then this is what your week then looks like. So it's Monday to Friday on a page and you have morning, afternoon, and evening. And then there's a list of three for each day there. And then the weekend is on the other side. That's a bit weird for me because I've always had the full week on one page, but I'm interested to have a go anyway and see how I might decorate it and then how I might use it. I do love this vertical though. As you can see, <laughs> I've tried it in a few different ones and the vertical does work for me. Um, so July through to December is still within date. So I may crack into it and have a go and see how I can make it work just so I know Oh, I didn't know that was at the back. Just so I know how it works. So I've just noticed at the back of all of these has financial things. I didn't know these were here, that's cool. So it's got financial priorities, long-term, short-term, and a savings tracker for each of the months. It's got budget expenses, expected expenses, and then it's got priorities. You could easily go over the top of that and use it for whatever you wanted to as well. And then your weekly budget. That's cool. Income one, income two, other income, total income, your expenses, what you budgeted for and what it actually was, remaining savings and spending. That's really cool. I didn't know this was here. I really like that. Obviously, I love the disc system so you can interchange it and stuff, but I do love the way that this is set out. I think that's quite nice oh and then 
it's got the 2022, so you could generally unspiralize this thing and put this at the front if you were redating it, which is what I'm going to be doing. So I may well do that, try and find a way to unspiralize it <laughs> and be able to move these two to the front. And then it also has a planner pocket in here as well that you can um, store some stickers in or some different things like that so that you've got some in there. So that's really cool. I like how strong the covers are and how pretty this is. So I am looking forward to using that. So that's the weekly. So I'll move that one out of the way. And then we have this one, which I'm pretty sure is the... Sorry about the lighting to it. It's getting dark outside. But this was her cover for this year. So she created this one for this year. And it's the same deal as the other one. It was a seconds one and it's also um, an outdated to three quarters of the year as well. So it's got the monthly, the goals again. So that's set out the same. Got your month, weekly plan, and then it moves into the daily sheets. So this is what they look like. So instead of it being a whole week or most of a week to a page, you've just got two days when you're looking at it. So you've got um, hourly set out and your morning, afternoon, evening, self-care and list of three. And then it's got the whole week in there set out. So this one is a little bit fatter, obviously, than the other one. Oh, so the weekly plan is in front of each. Oh, and they have the weekend on two, two on one. So that doesn't have the hourly breakdown. It just has morning, afternoon, evening. So that's more like your horizontal sort of situation. And then you get a weekly plan in front of each week worth of dailies. And then your goals every month as well. So that's really cool. And I'll just move. The other one had some hidden surprises at the back. So I don't know whether this one does or doesn't. So I'm going to have a look just in case. Okay, so this one doesn't, it has a couple of notes pages, but not very many. But you wouldn't be able to fit anything else on these at all. And I wonder if you were to decorate it and stuff, how much that would then, like you wouldn't be able to extend it very much. And then it has a plastic pocket as well at the back for you to put stickers and things in. So that's how her daily one is set out. So it's set out like this. And I thought that was really cool to use on my busier days, keeping track of things. Um, but also I just generally wanted to give them to go and see how to use it. So that's really cool. I love the pretty cover. And then I think we've got one more planner from her, which is a bigger one. Oh, very big one. This is like A4 size. How pretty is it? Oh my goodness, this planner. So pretty. I love how they're in boxes too. You can reuse them for other things. So pretty. Can you even see all of that within there? No, you can't. Oh well, sorry about that. If I zoom out, it'll go fuzzy, so I don't want to do that. But this is the teacher planner. And again, it's a seconds one and it's an outdated one. I don't even know if I can fit this in my space. Okay. I'm going to try and zoom out a little. It may go a bit fuzzy though. Okay, so if I zoom out so you can see it all, it's really not going to focus properly. So I do apologize for that. Um, whether you can see it, yeah, it's fuzzy. But anyway, um, so it's got your timetables set out in here if you use timetables. It's got your monthly written out, and this is a nice big one, lots of space calendar of school events but you could use this for anything and I have a few ideas for this then there's professional development which I do have to do for my job um, I have to do professional development with my childcare work so I very well will use this for that um, and then classroom expenses and I do spend some of my money on buying things for my work so this will probably also come into effect and then that will be what I can look back on when I'm doing my tax at the end of the year to be able to see what I spent money on and what I didn't. So monthly overviews. 
January. Okay, so this is the month. It's a nice, big, giant month. Lots of space. So this is January through to December, and it's just the months. So the months are all at the front. There's December. So it has all the months at the front. And then we move into term one. So it's set out in terms, term one, term two, term three, term four. And it goes term one, week one. So you can see what week you're up to as well. Um, and this is really good for like uni. So I was thinking of this as sort of like a work planner plus a uni planner, university, that sort of thing. Um, and it's not actually um, dated that much. You can, it'll be easy to redate it is what I'm saying. And then it's got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So it doesn't have the weekend. Um, it's just the Monday through Friday. And then it's got all the different subject spots. But you could use it however you wanted to. Um, and I just like how much space. Like if I do use it for a work planner, I don't work on the weekends anyway. So I don't need a weekend for that either. And there's plenty of space to write and do stuff to do with work. So that's the terms. So that's really cool. Lots of space. Then we move on to class roles. Um, and this is really cool because I keep track of um, student stuff. Well, I say students, but the kids stuff to make sure that all of their observations are up to date and everything that's needed to do with that sort of thing. So I would use it in that way. Not that I have students to teach like in an actual classroom, but that I do have students that I am, um, cause I am an educator just because it's early, early education doesn't mean that it's not education. <laughs> um, and I really like how they've changed it. Um, a couple of years ago in 2019, halfway through the year, they changed it from early childhood, um, service person or something, um, children's services to diploma in children's services to diploma of early childhood education. And I thought that that was really good because that's saying that we are educators and we are because we do teach these children lots of different things and enjoy it and love it all along the way. And then this is assessment record. So again, it could be used in the same way um, or however I might want to use it. So there's those as well. And then there's communication. And I thought that this could be good to when I communicate either with the parents um, about things that need to be communicated with to say that I definitely did it or communication with other staff members that I communicated this on this day. So if it didn't get done, you know, I can look back and go, well, I did communicate it on this day and what the reason was for and if there was any outcome from it. So there's that, but I could also use it for communication between the teachers of my children and keeping track of that as well. So um, multiple uses for this one. And then there's the unit plans, um, which is planning what going to be doing for the units. Um, but I thought these would be really good to be able to plan for what I'm doing in within the rooms that I'm working in. And at the moment, I'm not running a room. I'm just an assistant in the room but definitely still involved in that planning process and more so when I can do more hours of work, which will be in the future. So this will probably be useful for that sort of thing as well. Um, so that's the sort of plan. And then at the back, I'm noticing that I didn't notice before that it just has some grid paper and some notes and ideas, which is really cool for extra space. And then we have the 2022, which again, I will try and move to the front of this planner um, so that I can be using it in 2022 and just redate everything else. And as you saw, it's not going to be that hard to redate. And this has a plastic pocket in it as well to keep track of things. So if I do use it for like work and that sort of thing, work and uni, I would put like my certificates and things like that that I need to keep track of to do with this sort of thing together in here, or I might use it for something else. Um, I do apologize if that's been really um, fuzzy the whole way through. There we go. But yeah, so this is the teacher planner from Leanne Baker. And I really love all of these planners. The disc system, I mean, the sorry, the spiral system 
is a little bit weird for me. It may take a little while to get used to it. <laughs> um, but we'll see. We'll see. But that's the three planners. Gorgeous covers. The whole lot of them. Really pretty. And yeah, I'll be having a crack of using those. And I just love that they're from an Aussie company as well. I'm probably never going to go away from Happy Planner, but we'll definitely have a go of these and I might implement them into my planner lineup with, with my Happy Planners. So we'll have to wait and see, but I will definitely use them. They will not go to waste. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below because I'd love to chat to you all. Have you used these Leanne Bakers before? And if not, what are you looking forward to seeing? And if you'd like to see some plan with me's, comment that down below too. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. But while you're waiting, don't forget, keep on planning.